If you have a federal criminal case, you're probably wondering how long it's going to take. And that is a tricky question because it could take a year, it could take five years, but it's not going to move quickly. The wheels of justice definitely turn much more slowly in a federal case. So what does that mean? So let's say you've been charged in a federal case. At that point, you will go to court and the process starts. If you have not yet been charged and you contact an attorney like myself while you're under investigation, pre-indictment, it could take months before you're even charged with a crime. Once that happens, once you're charged with a crime, the process is somewhat predictable, but also depends upon your unique situation. So the initial appearance will occur where you enter your plea of not guilty and you're given a trial date, which is usually within a couple of weeks. That is to preserve your right to a speedy trial. Now, some courts do this differently and they don't set the, the trial date right away, but many courts do. Those trial dates that are set at your initial appearance almost never happen because your attorney needs time to get the discovery, to review the discovery, to interview witnesses, maybe hire experts, and prepare your case to either resolve it or go to trial. So let's talk about the scenario where you're going to settle your case. You're going to enter a plea of guilty. Then there are two different scenarios. Are you just going to plead guilty and go forward with sentencing, or are you going to cooperate? So if you just are going to go forward and go to sentencing without any cooperation, your change of plea date depends upon when the U.S. Attorney's Office makes an offer. So again, your attorney still has to get the discovery in the case. They have to read everything. It can be thousands of pages. It can be hundreds of thousands of pages. So that takes time. Again, there may be investigation because you want your lawyer to give you the best possible advice about what you should do. And if you're going to plead guilty, you want them to be able to make compelling arguments to the prosecution about what the offer should be. Even though the federal sentencing guidelines control the offers in federal cases, there are different things that an experienced federal criminal defense attorney can negotiate for you perhaps the dismissal of certain counts, perhaps not charging certain enhancements that can add time to your sentence. So this negotiation process can take time. And I would say in my experience, it's generally months, and I would say even closer to a year before many cases actually go to the change of plea hearing. It can happen faster, though, and it really is somewhat up to you and how quickly you want to move things along. If you want to get it over with, the government has no problem with that. But it's sometimes beneficial to you to drag things out a little bit, if at all possible. Depends on the prosecutor, it depends on the judge. Once you plead guilty, the standard time frame for a sentencing hearing is 10 weeks. So from the date that you change your plea to the date of your sentencing hearing is generally 10 weeks. Now, if you are cooperating, your sentencing hearing is going to be set out much further than 10 weeks because the U.S. Attorney's Office wants to finish up the cases if you're assisting against other individuals and you may need to testify in their trials, things like that, they're going to give you time to do that. So in that case, it could take a very long time, it could take more than a year, it could take two years. And I have had cases drag out, drag out much longer than that. Then if you are not cooperating and you want to go forward with sentencing within 10 weeks, we have the probation interview, the probation report, we prepare for sentencing. I generally like to ask for more time so that I can really work up the mitigation in my case so I can present a thorough, thorough package to both the U.S. Attorney's Office and the probation officer prior to the pre-sentence interview so that the probation officer can include our information in the pre-sentence report. So it's not just the prosecutor's recitation of the facts of the case. We don't want the judge to focus on that. We want the judge to focus on who you are as a person and the good things about you. So sentencing could happen 10 weeks or it could happen months later. Then the question of course is, well, when do I have to surrender for my sentence? If you are sentenced to a custodial sentence, it generally takes the Bureau of Prisons or BOP about six weeks to designate you to a facility. So we usually ask the court for at least six weeks before you can self-surrender. Now there's a caveat to that. Some judges will take people in right after the sentencing hearing. It is rare, 
but there are judges who will do this. If you are able to self-surrender, which is always preferred so that you can have somebody drop you off wherever it is, or you can fly there if you need to fly or drive there yourself. Um, well, obviously you can't drive there yourself, but you want to have time to prepare, to get ready and to find out where you're going to be going and where you're going to be spending your time. So we can ask for more time if there are things you need to do, like take care of medical appointments, take care of finances. That's something that should probably be done before sentencing. Or if it's right before the holidays, generally judges are pretty generous about letting you wait until January before you have to turn yourself in and let you spend the holidays with your family. So the answer to the question, how long is my case going to take? Again, it depends. It depends on many factors. If it's a state case, it can happen quickly. If it's a federal case, it generally takes much, much longer. If you're cooperating, it takes even longer. But there are so many variables that go into it. I've given you the general outlines of the timeframes that are set forth by statute. But again, if you have an experienced federal criminal defense attorney and you want to drag things out or speed things up, I, somebody like myself can certainly help you accomplish that. But if you are under investigation or facing criminal charges in state court in California or federal court anywhere in the United States, call me. My contact information is below.